हेलो गाइज इफ यू वॉन्ट टू नो द फिजिकल एंड केमिकल प्रॉपर्टीज ऑफ योर प्रोटीन देन यू कैन यूज अ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट एंड यूजफुल टूल दैट इज प्रोट प्रैम टूल बाई यूजिंग दिस टूल यू कैन नो द फिजिकल एज वेल एज केमिकल प्रॉपर्टी ऑफ योर प्रोटीन सो हाउ यू कैन यूज इट एंड हाउ यू कैन एनालाइज द रिजल्ट गिवन बाय दिस टूल सो इट विल बी क्लियर इन दिस वीडियो नाउ इन ऑर्डर टू एक्सेस दिस प्रोट प्रैम जस्ट ओपन योर ब्राउजर and here search for the tool that is prot prot pram now this is the website that is web.expressy.org so just click here as you click here now this is the home page of this expressy's prot pram software now how you can see the property of your protein so it's very simple home page here you can either add the swiss protein id or the sequential identifier accession number or you can directly paste your sequence in one letter code keep in mind it should be in the one letter code so you can directly paste your sequence here now this is the protein sequence which have already downloaded so i am just copying it and now just paste your sequence here like this now just simply click compute parameters as you click here it will show you the all physical and chemical properties of your protein like so these are the results how to analyze these or interpret these results so here this is the complete sequence which you just give to the software and now these are the further results like first of all the number of amino acids so there was 541 amino acid in the sequence given by us the molecular weight of that protein is 59228.56 theoretical isoelectric point is 5.65 now further detail that how many amino acid and their percentage like for example first is alanine so there was 48 alanine residues in our sequence so percentage of that alanine is 8.9% similarly in case of arginine so there are 24 arginine molecule in the sequence and the percentage is 4.4 so by this each and every amino acid means its percentage and its number of residues is given here you can see from this table and you can also download in the csf format by clicking here now as you move scroll down the next section is the total number of negatively charged amino acid or residues so in your sequence the sequence given by us so it contain asparagine plus this glutamic acid means these positively charged amino acid so there are 65 positively charged amino acid and sorry this negatively this is column is negatively charged amino acid so there are 65 negatively charged amino acid and while 52 are the positively charged amino acid now this is the atomic composition like carbon so there are 2591 molecules of carbon in the sequence similarly for hydrogen there are 4147 atoms of hydrogens is there and as for example in case of nitrogen oxygen sulfur so these are the number of atoms present in your sequence and according to these atoms this is the formula generated by the system like chnos so according to these number of atoms so this is the formula the total number of atom present in your sequence is 8295 now in the next column this is the extinction coefficient means here they are just performing the absorption means as we know that proteins they absorb at the 280 nanometer so here the absorption has been measured for the given sequence and it has the optical density or absorbance of this 0.520 if it assume all pair of cysteine cysteine residue from the cysteines and if it assume all cysteine residue are reduced then the optical density is 0.50.505 now this column that is estimated half life so in this column it is showing the half life of your protein and the estimated half life is 30 hour in mammalian reticulocytes under in vitro condition means in in vitro condition in the mammalian reticulocytes this protein the sequence which you just gave so it has 30 hours half life while in yeast under in vivo condition is within the yeast so it has you can say greater than 20 hours half life and in case of e coli under in vitro condition it has greater than 10 hours half life so this data shows the half life of this protein now next is the instability index 
so this index it shows the stability of your protein and in the test tube under normal conditions and they, you can say it is denoted by a score and here the score of this instability index is 29.50 so generally the range of this score is 1 to 100 and if the score is 40 if the score is 40 or less than 40 then we can assume that our protein is stable but if the score is 40 or above 40 or more than 40 then the protein is unstable so here the value is 29.50 which is less than 40 so it means protein is stable like here this classify the protein is stable now next is aliphatic index so this aliphatic index it gives the idea of you can say the aliphatic amino acids and it usually have the you can say it gives the aliphatic factors like here the aliphatic index is 89.98 the next is gravy that is grand average of hydropathicity this gravy it gives the you can say idea about the hydrophobic and hydrophilic amino acids or the nature of hydro uh, this protein either it is hydrophobic or hydrophilic so this is the score it is in the minus value that is minus point one two eight so generally this value if it is in plus then we can say the our protein is hydrophobic means if this value is in plus digit like one two three four five above zero so then we can say the protein is hydrophobic but if this value is below zero or in you can say in the negative term so we can say that our protein is hydrophilic so here you can see the value is minus in negative term so here this protein is hydrophilic means it is a water loving protein so these are the all the physiochemical properties of your protein which you just want to know so you can use all of these property in your uh, research or in or you can say in your thesis purpose so by using this prot prime you can get the physical and chemical property of any protein just provide the sequence of that protein and result will be just there and you can easily analyze the result as as i just shown you for that given sequence so that's all for today guys see you in the next video thank you very much